everyone, I'm Jen Woodhouse and in today's video I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to build a workbench with Simpson Strong Ties Workbench Kit. This kit includes all the connectors and connector screws you need to build a strong, sturdy workbench. All you need to buy is the lumber of your choice and a handful of wood screws. This workbench is great for the garage, basement, or workshop, and it's easily customizable for your needs. So let's break open this box and see what we've got. In the kit, you'll get eight rigid tie RTC 2Z connectors and a box of 100 Simpson Strong Tie one and a quarter inch wafer head screws. I really love these screws because they're so easy to work with and you don't have to pre-drill, so it saves time and effort. For the lumber, you'll need six two by fours at eight feet long, one four by four foot sheet of five eighths inch thick plywood, and one two by four foot sheet of quarter inch pegboard. Additionally, you'll need two and a half inch screws to attach the top rail and one and a quarter inch screws to attach the pegboard. You'll need the following tools, a saw, a cordless drill driver with a Phillips head bit, a tape measure, some clamps, and a speed square. And don't worry, you don't have to commit this all to memory. All the tools, materials, and cut lists are included in the plans, which you can download by scanning the QR code that's right on the box. I'll also be sure to link it below. The first thing we'll do is cut the lumber and plywood to size. All these cuts will be straight cuts, which really simplifies the project. As you can see here, I've made all of my cuts. We've got two long back legs. The shorter legs will be on the front, and we've got the rails, the plywood shelves, and the pegboard. We're gonna be building from the bottom up, so the first thing I'm gonna do is measure and make my marks as to where the connectors will go on the four legs. I'm gonna measure six inches from the bottom and then I'll mark it. Then I'll measure 34 and 3 8 inches from the bottom and mark that. Then just slide the connectors onto the legs up to those marks, clamp them in place, and drive in the screws. Like I said, no pre-drilling is needed with these screws, so just drive those screws in and go on living your life. Now that we have the connectors screwed on all four legs, it's time to add the side rails. Just slide the pre-cut boards into the connectors, clamp it, and drive in the screws. Now that we've got the two sides built, it's time to attach the front and back rails. Do the same thing here. Slide the boards into the connectors and secure with the screws. Super easy. Finally, we're gonna add the plywood shelves. You'll need to notch out the corners of the shelves so that the parts fit together snugly. For the top shelf, you'll only need to notch out the two back corners, and for the bottom shelf, you'll need to notch out all four corners. The easiest way to do this is to use a scrap 2x4 to trace out the notches, then use a jigsaw to make those cuts. Then we'll just drop those shelves in place and secure them with wood screws. Finally, we'll add the top rail and attach the pegboard to the back. And just like that, we have a strong, sturdy workbench, and we built it in less than an hour. This kit takes the guesswork out of building and you can easily modify the size and scope of this project depending on your needs. You'll be able to find this workbench kit online and at your local home store. To show you just how easy it is to customize this workbench kit, I've invited a few of my DIY friends to build the workbench and put their own spin on it. So be sure to check out the hashtag, hashtag StrongTieDIY and hashtag WBSKChallenge to see their versions. But the fun doesn't stop there. We would love to see how you customize your workbench using this kit. Feel free to use the same hashtag and post your projects online for a chance to be featured on Simpson Strong Tie social media channels. That's it for me in this video. Check out the links in the description box for more info and visit jenwoodhouse.com for more DIY projects and plans. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.